this little pig, this little pig right here, this one to his butt. Okay. I guess you off on the side immediately. I'm just following my and he makes my hoodie by his side right here. But I hop here, I hold. Elbow comes through right here. I'm almost inviting him right here. He's so close to belly and down right here, I can just finish like that, right? He goes belly down. Look. Here. Sometimes this happens, Parker's, Parker's just sitting in, right? Look. Here. When my partner begins to put some pressure right off here immediately. My hands are going to go right on the floor. Both hands, and I'm going to follow right through. The safest, the safest place for my foot is going to be flat on the floor. I follow right through here. Okay? Work right on the floor. And if you can, both hands right to the knees. Walk ahead. Yeah. It's good. Same scenario right here. Okay? My partner is working towards making sure that he's got a good bike right on my leg right here. At this point, my knee is already facing to the side. This creates a problem because from here, for me to be able to put my foot flat on the floor, I have to face my knee. My, knees, my knees are flat on the ground right here. I need some height. I need to be able to take my, my bottom. Okay? So here, I put my foot in my floor right here. Okay? Head on top of my partner's toes, and I take my butt up. Okay? If you want to, shove that foot right underneath there. You can. Right? So now I'm here. I'm not out of danger. My partner can still belly down right here. So I just have to make sure I get here. If he decides to belly down right here, he exposes this to me. More often than not, I'll win this. I have a deeper lock right here to his bottom leg right here. I'm much closer to the submission right here than he is the extension. Here. Here. Hold slightly just so I can access that here. Stretch my partner. Come up. I can do it. My butt. Bring my knee back to me. Man, so I place me right over on my, on my back right here. Now he's going to begin his pass right here. As a good response system, immediately what I want to do is get my right hand. I'm going to reach for my partner's ankle right here. Okay? Ideally, what I really want for control is I want to be able to get underneath, just slightly underneath and be able to cut my partner's heel from here. But I don't always have access to that. So how do I get access to that? Well, I'm going to do some gently going to pull my partner's knee forward. What that's going to do is it's going to lift that heel. Okay? Now, my top leg right here, what I want to try and do is to be able to like bring this back in. Okay? With my leg is in between my partner's knees right here. I'm going to place right here to the side of his knee. While my partner's not going to be stretched out. The taller you are, the better this is going to be for you. Okay? Now, from right here, once my, my leg is fully extended and I can't stretch out anymore, I'm going to, do, I'm going to bring this in. Okay? Underneath. See how that same inside leg is now wrapping right in here uh, to my partner's ankle. Now, right hand, left foot. Okay? I'm going to use that to pick my butt up. Place my knee on the floor. Here. See? My butt's up. I'm going to retract this. I'm going to place my right knee on the floor. Yeah. All we're doing is we're stretching the we're stretching your partner, we're pulling their heel towards us. That's what we're trying to do. We don't want our partner to be able to hop. Okay. Right. He's getting to knee slash right here. I find where his butt cheeks are, right? Where he keeps his wall and I build off of that. Up. My leg across. Okay. And extend my top knee. Okay. Extend my top hand to go right on the floor and I'm going to build right off of that. Okay. Well. I feel right off of that, off of my elbow. I retract my bottom knee, and I come up right here. Very, very important. Do not do your leg dangling right here. It's those pesky leg hunters. They'll drool over that leg, right? Get here. Bring your ankle right across. 